Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Program. It is very quiet here because we are on the surface of the moon with our lander from the Diana Explorer. And we're back with the same fools as before. We don't have Bryce, but we do have a Cody and a Kiwi. So I have to remind you, Kiwi, you can't be racist during this, even yeah. if they are little green men. Nope, he's dead. Never mind. Okay, so we are able to return, I think. Um, let's see if we can try and recover the Kerbex crew. So we'll pull the ladder up with power we don't have. Because we still have absolutely no electric charge. Listen, you can still fly Jeb in. I can. Yeah. I Do think it. I can still use Mech Jeb as well. I don't know. Either way, I can probably send myself to orbit Send him in. Do it. No, we're not doing Do it, that because no it will go horribly wrong. Lisa, you are the devil on my so? shoulder I don't need right now. Okay? But it oh, sounds God. like a good idea. We should <laughs> no, definitely do it. It's not. Okay, so we're going to go. Okay? Idea. RCS and SAS are on. We're going to go for lunar liftoff. So is the next goal to just actually spend some time on the moon? Uh, yes. The next time we'll be making an actual proper lander with a lunar system. But I'd rather do that in career mode where the science matters. Science always matters. Right. Where are we now? So we're going up here. So... I'm probably going to want to basically mech Jeb. Will this actually work? Uh, rendezvous autopilot. Screw it. We'll actually, no. We want to actually get ourselves into some sort of orbit. Do it. Do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. We'll, we'll, we'll sort out the orbit later, but right now we need to go this way. So yeah. we can... Oh god, that's one hell of a dodgy orbit. That is interesting. Circular we'll in the it. sense that it will land on a circular object. Well, we'll be fine. We can correct this. Okay, so now we need to basically set ourselves prograde and let ourselves head up. We'll correct this monstrosity of an orbital plane shortly. Um what we'll need to do is plan for a rendezvous with the Dino Explorer command module but we are now back in space so that is a good thing I think yeah I mean yeah, yeah. okay you, you know what it. can I just go straight to uh, rendezvous just send it back to the earth I mean Kerbal I mean, it'll be yeah. fine yeah there I mean, we go not? so we have our maneuvers so Engage autopilot room? Uh, no, 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 no. Disengage autopilot. Bad. Bad. <laughs> bad. That was going to do horrible things we didn't need. Okay, so yeah, I will just I manually know. sort my orbit out here. We'll be just fine. It'll be so fine. if I just push myself out here to about there. Seems fine. We'll let ourselves point prograde. And once it's orientated, we'll go boop. Okay, so we have an orbit. That was one that's... professional grade. That almost was, yeah. We're actually kind of almost there. So uh, we'll need to let ourselves swing around here until we start our actual orbital rendezvous because there's no point doing it yet. Why? We need the to governor is here. The governor is here. Hello, governor. Hello. How, how are you doing today, Fraulein? We're trying to get back from space. It's not gone so well. Oh yeah, you you have base on on the moon. Nine, not yet. Okay, yeah. See, this is much better. Oh god, this is this is bad. Uh, that's I a lot of fuel. That's something you typically want to hear immediately after someone saying. No, but that's a squiffy orbit right there. That is a squiffy orbit. Swifty orbit. The squiffy. Element. Yeah. How much? No, no, just, god damn it! I'm recording you, wow. moron. I did not know that. I am so sorry. Jesus! <laughs> I will have to bleep idiot. that the hell out. <laughs> oh, that's a bleep. You idiot. 
talking over it. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I've just had to stop the recording and start it again so I know exactly when Kiwi went full racist so I can fix God it. Damn fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, my God. This is what you get for being racist. Okay, so we're at minus 2 minus 39 seconds. We're back in normal time. It's going to set us into here. It's going to position us for our maneuver now. Even if we're not a Delta V on this craft, we should be fine. Oh, it's going the long way. Uh, what are you doing? No, 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 no. That that's bad. What it's doing right there is is really bad. They want to go back to the planet. No, 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 no. What it's doing right there is is very bad for me. But how bad is it? Very bad. I'm going to do this crap manually. Okay, so I need to go that way with the orbit. Diana so I Explorer. want to basically point... Uh, Diana Explorer. Okay, add maneuver node. I'm just going to do this manually. It's fine. Okay. I said just do it live. Yeah. Okay, position yourself. Target. Quickly. Hurry. Schnell, schnell! Don't like maneuver. to be rushed! Well, I need to maneuver quickly. Otherwise, problems. Uh, no, not target. Oh, sod. Uh... Maneuver node. Top right. Oh, maneuver node. There we go. Okay, hurry, 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 hurry. It'll be fine. We'll just squish it a bit. Incoming clunk. It's working. I have not kerbled since I took off, basically, so, uh... Since we headed to the moon, so I'm kind of just winging this and trying to remember how to orbital. Um, a periapsis here is yeah, that's, that's fine. So what I need to do now is flip this biatch and reverse it. So add maneuver and I'm probably going to go duh, uh, no, that would be bad. Uh, so I'm going to do that. Probably going to want to try that's also not going to work. Um, so how's what about what are you trying to do? Run, uh, get to this. I want to try and level this out. I should probably do you, the maneuver You want to make a maneuver node on your, uh, what do they call that? See where the dotted line is between the two? Yeah. That's where you want to do the maneuver node, because anywhere else, and you're going to be spinning it on the wrong axis. Okay, so here, basically. Uh, yeah, that's where you want it. So the other side will do? On the, yeah, or the other side. Yeah, we'll do it over here because we're, we're there, sort of thing. So we'll just fly over here, no problem. Time zero, so there. I can get the maneuver node there. And I'm gonna want to rotate around the. That would be, I think, anti-normal, but. This one? No. This one. Uh, this uh, one. Uh, I think it's the purple. There we oh, go. Another one. That's working. No, we're not. And then check your. Uh... Oh bugger! That's an escape orbit. Well, no, we don't yeah, want to do... now you need to. I can recentralize that by retrograde retro burning. It. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that requires me a twenty-second burn. Yeah, we could do that. I mean, I also have to retrograde as soon as I basically finish the maneuver. But well, that's do you have enough retrograde? You might want to add it into the maneuver node because then you'll be able to see how much delta v it'll how take. How do I do that? Oh, I don't want to go this way. Retrograde. Yeah, that's that's doable, right? Yeah, you've got 817. Yeah. And that's got to be roughly on the right plane. So. Yeah, what he said. Okay, so... This is secretly a NASA scientist. Yes, he is. Okay, so position for maneuver. Maneuver's in 48 seconds, so we'll go zip do do ba 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 boop boop boop. That's that definitely Wait. Yeah. Can Burn I in 17 seconds. No, you can't get that sequence again because I don't even know what I was doing. I, I, I just scat every now and again. It's, it's, a, it's a tick. Yo. No, <laughs> minus eight seconds. Three, two, one. Burn. Your node was in 10 seconds or whatever. That's but where the maneuver time. was. Needs to hit the middle of the bird time. Needs to hit the note. 
So you take your node, Does it? Your, no. your node in t minus time, and then you divide by two. I thought you did it at zero. Oh. So if your burn time's ten seconds, you want to start burning at basically five okay. seconds to your. So node we time. don't think we're going to have enough delta v to actually achieve this. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn off RCS. We're just going to say, sod it. We're just going to orbit right now. Because this vessel is going to be just fine uh, orbiting around here. Periapsis is 15,000. I will use the Dino Explorer to interlink with this one instead. Which seems that like a far more, more delta sense. V? It has all the delta V. <laughs> okay, so you guys just chill here. Not a problem. They're dead. Can do. <laughs> They're not dead. They're absolutely fine. Switch to. Imagine being lost in space. They're not going to be lost in space. See, look, we've got, I've not even started the engine on this yet. Listen, every person lost in space is another free mission. <laughs> that is true. Is there set a set up on that? There vessel? is on every one vessel, yes. Oh, you could just set up a rendezvous then. That's what I'm doing, yeah. Uh, rendezvous autopilot. Yeah, go on, get it done. Did you have the target sets for the other vessel? I, I did, yes. What I actually need to do, though, is... Uh, oh, the engine's engaged. Okay, cool. We're good to go. So, yeah. We're off. We're off to go rendezvous. Can we get some poggers in the you, chat? Okay. You, you realize There's that no a rendezvous takes no orbital mechanics into consideration. So it's just going to get you close. I know. Don't worry. Okay. This is not my first rodeo. Also, that's a long gas burn. But it might be their last. A three-minute burn? Tiny engine. It makes sense, considering. <laughs> That's a faster burn. Well done. Are we off to see the wizard? I'm just I'm careful of how much fuel I've got, basically. Oh, this is going to be cutting it fine. I could transfer fuel, though, across from the other engine before I go. Okay, so we're good to go. We're about three quarters of the tank, and this is the biggest part of the burn. Who's ready for some over under? So it's back to here. 0.1 meters per second of delta V required, and that set us. Yeah, we're going to start planning for our next maneuver. It's a two second burn in 46 minutes, so I'm assuming it's going to time accelerate me to compensate. Yep. Uh, auto warp is engaged. So once it's orientated correctly, it should just go oh. zippity zoop zap, and it's doing that. Imagine four balls on the edge of a cliff. So this is Jeb, who doesn't need to actually rescue anybody. As we're going to come around here. He <laughs> been Netflix the entire oh, time. Oh god, that's close. That was our landing site there. Yeah. That's the flag. Oh. So Jeb at least gets to fly over the landing site. Now we're on the same plane, see? I'm at least doing this part, part Rachel, of this correctly. Rachel, please. You're not in a plane. You're in a spacecraft. Yeah. The going home portion of this should be relatively easy, actually. So. Throw yourself at Kerbin. <laughs> yeah, basically throw ourselves at Kerbin. And this craft, I know, is basically stocked up and ready to roll. Throw yourself at Kerbin. Panic when you get too close and you're about to crash. Just burn until you don't die. That's the plan. Yeah. I mean, it's only over there. We'll be fine. We're going to run out of gas. This is the, the Kerbal School of Space of Orbital Mechanics, which means actually it's a really good learning tool, is the problem. Um, there's actually a NASA astronaut who drew a graph of his uh, understanding of orbital mechanics, right? And it's got this very tiny little squiggly line where it says, you know, high school physics. Then it's like, physics doctorate. Then it's like, job at NASA. Then it's like, started playing Kerbal Space Program, line immediately goes vertical. <laughs> and that's a legit NASA rocket scientist. It's just like, yeah, Kerbal Space Program actually helped me really understand orbital mechanics. But one of the things I actually find really exciting, though, is has anyone here seen The Expanse? Look at your map right now. I want to I see what not. this thing is doing. I don't understand uh, it. Brain this cells. Is, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. I see. I see what it's doing. I'm just waiting for it to do it. Um, but now, has anyone here seen The Expanse? Nay. Okay, it's a sci-fi show. It's four seasons in. Fantastic. It's on Netflix. Um, I'm not sponsored by them. I wish I was. Um, but it's amazing because it actually utilizes the real world physics that we live in for a sci-fi. Like, humanity is confined to this solar system, but, you know, we have travel between the different uh, planets. 
and different uh, orbital bodies. Um, to do gravity, everyone has magnetic boots. So they can walk around in the spaceship even in zero G on the floor, which is cool. Um, but at the same time, to actually have gravity at times, whenever the ships were accelerating for their actual tr transition to somewhere, the floors are all orientated basically horizontally rather than vertically. Okay? So when the ship's accelerating, it pushes your feet onto the ground, you have gravity. Or when the ship's braking, you also have gravity. And because of the style of their engines, they're always accelerating or braking. So you, for most ships, when they're moving, you have gravity. Which is kind of a cool system. But they actually had a, they had a, there was a battle in one of the scenes where they had to basically get this larger ship's drum rotating to actually create rotational gravity through the Coriolis effect. And they legit were like, well, hang on, we, we can't treat all these internal bleeding injuries because we're in zero G. They're just going to die. Which is something to actually consider. Injuries in space, like internal yeah, bleeding in zero true. G, you will, you will die. Fuck, what can they actually do? Exactly. It's kind of exciting though, isn't it, in that regard? I mean, it's I mean, not I prefer exciting, not but, to get mean. shot in space, no. but, you know. Well, I this guess. was impact injuries from a crash. Mm -hmm. um, but no, the, the really fun part, though, is whenever they show the maps of how people are going to different places, all of the actual orbital mechanics of the real world apply. All these trajectories of ship fleet maneuvers between Earth and Mars are all legit all orbital accurate. trajectories. Yeah, it literally looks like this. That's what their maps look like. Everyone goes places using actual orbital mechanics. Oh, hi there, Diner Explorer Lander. It looks like we did some maneuvering. I'm really not. Oh, yeah. Slowing down now. Yeah, we've got tons of autopropellant. We're about to have more, too. Um, but no, it's a fantastic show. The mechanics are brilliant. It, the transitions between different planets is using the same escape velocity and, you know, orbital kind of injection. It's, it's all real physics. It's really exciting. Um, but because it's such an engaging story and a fantastic story that it sells the physics and the reality and it's surprisingly actually really accurate. Um, and that's what I'm loving about modern sci-fi. The more sci-fi films we're getting now that are actually really accurate, like The Martian. Pretty damn accurate, apart from the dust storm at the beginning. Actually, the entire film is really accurate. Fantasy. Yeah, they actually crowdsourced the research out to doctors and to scientists and to people who know what the hell they're doing. Like, Mark Watney was an actual, genuine astronaut figure. Uh, I, I remember seeing Chris Hadfield talk about him. He was like, yeah, Watney is the sort of person that... I know people like Mark Watney. They're NASA astronauts. That's how they do this. Okie dokie, it's time to arrive at Le Landel. So you're going to be my target, little guy. And you're going to be controlled from here. This is going to be great. This is going to be fantastic because it's actually really easy thanks to the wonders of Mechjab. Um, I'm seeing this space right now and I'm having some echo PTSD. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, me too. Waiting for echo just to come in and one shot everyone. One shot everyone. Pretty much. Pretty much. Alright, beginning uh, docking rendezvous. Just like they actually do it in real life, it's now largely an automated procedure for docking. In fact, it has been since the 70s, since the Sally program. Makes life 10 billion times easier. Right, so we're looking pretty good for our return trip here. When do you think you're going to be ready for a Mars trip? Uh, Duna is Mars in Kerbal, and I think that's my next project. Mars is harder, it has an atmosphere, so I'm thinking when I perfect my... I'm working on a starship vessel right now, and it's taking me some time to perfect it. Just like SpaceX, it's taking a lot of work to, to sort the mechanics. Um, I need to create more usable space and the crew capacity needs to be something that I improve, but the mechanics of the vessel itself are functional. Uh, so I have the right kind of combination of, or you know, um, vac engines, vacuum engines, and 
uh, atmospheric engines to actually do the job. Um, it's more now a combination of working, and I've got the landing structure is sound. The vessel has actually performed um, a couple of thousand meter hop flights where I've gone up from the pad and come back down and landed. Um, my actual atmospheric landing systems are good, so I can actually bring the thing in propulsively and land, like Starship. So that's part it's like of the a model goal. to go off of. It is, and it's actually functional. It works. Like in curb, all the design functions. So, and Blue Daniel will be playing here, by the way, for any fans of Elite Dangerous. Um, <laughs> okay, so I am going to say uh, fuel. Uh, oh, fuck. How do I transfer fuel from there to here? What is it? So it's oh, it's here, and I go. What? What do I do again, Weist? I forgot. Uh, this stuff changed since I played last. I I don't remember what I'm doing. Same. That's cross speed. You want to have right. that be green. Okay, so. I don't know how you do it. I've forgotten. I, I think you little... need to select both of them. Da 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 da. Might be control da, da. or. I remember there's definitely a method. I love the little facial expressions in the lower right. They're just like, yeah! Loving this shit. Oh, yeah. hang on. No, it's... Oh, there you go. There we go. So I've just saved myself a bit of motion lotion here, which is useful. Um... Yeah. Are you going to move... Uh... Yeah, I'm moving some RCS propellant as well. Because uh, the the kerbals, are you going to move it back into the command? Oh, yeah. As soon as we've done this. I'm just restocking our, uh, our supplies. If this, vessel's le if this vessel's staying behind, there's no point in keeping it. Um, yeah. Come on. Fill me up, Scotty. Jesus. Why no fill? There we go. <laughs> Shush, Lisa. <laughs> Filthy-minded wench. God. I need an adult. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. I am an it. adult. You are not an adult. No, you're definitely not an adult. An adult, adult child, Tell that to all maybe. the utilities I must pay this week. An adult child. Okay, so one more tank to top off. And we're good to ditch the lander, transfer our crew back, of course. And we're good. So the four monopropellant tanks there are good. Um, okay. Now, let's transfer some crew. Go transfer crew. Bill Kerman to here. Nope, this way. Did I transfer them all already? Think so. <laughs> Let's find out when they land. One, two, three. Yeah, okay, it was in the right it. ship. Yeah, no crew on this part. So, now we can basically say bye-bye, Lander. You've been fantastic to us. It's been a great trip. So, GTFO, Lander. We'll see I you mean, next really, time. I mean, really, has it really, considering, um, well... Yeah, it did its job. Next time, solar panels. And we'll be great. I'll actually be able to stay for a longer mission if I'd considered that. So, let's go down, shall we? So, we're out of the same orbital plane. I learned my lesson from last time with the whole thrusting system and how thrusting is bad. <laughs> We're gonna save it. <laughs> yeah, because I've learned my mistakes, okay? I have learned my damn mistakes. Just for the sake of using MechJub the entire flight, I'm going to basically set myself with a uh, maneuver planner, so. Your mistake was thrusting too hard, right? Absolutely, it's always a mistake to thrust too hard. Alright, cool. Just wanted to make sure, because I could, I could hear Elisa snickering, and I know that's exactly what she's snickering in front, so... Okay, why can't I click on Kerbin? Re! Why no click Kerbin? Re! Double click? I was trying to, but it won't work. That is focus. Eh, uh... <sighs> whatever. Um... Okay, so buy home and I could yeah, just eat this manually. Them, I think in there. Just, just
just drive towards the just just drive over there. I'm just gonna probably just yeet this thing towards Kerbin and call it good. Oh god. You just you, you turn the steering yeah, wheel yeah. in that general direction. It kind of works yeah. actually. Return from a mun. Yeah. Yep. That should do it. Uh, recommend starting mun returns from a near circular orbit. Well, that's not quite. Y yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I ain't gonna uh, tell it's nobody. It's relatively circular. <laughs> I mean, what sure. Rachel. Rachel, nobody has to know. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Plan returning to circle orbit with eccentricity of 0.43, so it may not be accurate. Pfft, close enough. Okay, so we're good. <laughs> this is herbal well, engineering, just okay? So you know. What, sorry? 20% versus 40%. I mean, it's a percent. That's a not That's not very much if we're playing XCOM. So that's an eccentricity of we're not more than XCOM, 20%. We're it XCOM. may not be accurate. So it's only 40%, so it's not an extra strategy of 50%, so we're good. It's both space games. What Let is me the shoot difference? you from one tile, ahead, one tile away from me for 90% and then miss. I mean, it's close, right? Fucking love XCOM. Oh, so, I want to do a playthrough. Name them all after you and see who lives so the longest. I need 300 uh, Delta V, and I'm currently sitting on 1400, so I'm fine. This is bags. So, is it bad that every time I see a space game, the first thing I think of is Dead Space and... For the Necromorph that. That's terrifying. That is very terrifying, yes. I still haven't ever beat Dead Space. You see why I've got so much uh, Delta V? Yeah, that's why I've got so much Delta, uh, freaking mana propellant. We are carrying lots. You, you got You're a lot of Delta all the V, goods, aren't you? Yeah. Do that what on are we... first date? We yes, what are we doing v. now? Oh, there we go. Uh... It'll be fine. It's just your parry apps. Oh yeah, it's just see? leaving, positioning. Whoa, okay, whoa. that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's fine. You had some funky uh, intercepts there for a second. Yeah, we did. It's okay. It's... That's going towards. That's one shady intercourse. That's going towards it, right? Sure is. Yep. I mean, it give us some more purpose. And... Yeah, we're out of here. Adios, amigos. Warp five, Captain. Yeah, it's close enough. We're heading back. We're good. Camera should move here soon. It's going the Bye, wrong man. way, but, you know, we're, we're going back. Imagine that you fucked it up so hard you're actually now driving to the sun. It's plausible. You can, you I mean, can land on the sun. Can we? Of course you can. Everything goes around the sun already. <laughs> okay, so we're Duh. going here, then we'll pick up the influence again of... of mo okay, yeah, no. This is going to be absolutely fine. You're so... going to be coming in so fast. Oh, I know, I know. I'm going to have to deorbit burn like a mother trucker to get in we here. We should see a doctor about that. Oh well, no. <laughs> if you put your periaps at like 63. I will deal with it. Uh. Oh yeah, no, we're that's good. Fine. If you put your periaps at like 63 grand, you'll hit Atmo and then it'll drag you and then yeah. you'll. We're not actually going that fast. This isn't either a space thing or real. a sexy conversation. Oh, I'm going to arrow break, yeah, like a beast. I wish the power that, of yeah. smuts has been brought to you by Lisa. Oh, you need no. to see Mike Jeb's um, orbit info. Mm -hmm. I need to get a thumbnail first. Come on. Oh, well. God damn it. Why is it set on the wrong side to get Kerbin in there? Re. How long would it actually take if you didn't Put the uh, planet on it as a half. hat. Give it a hat. See, it's too dark on that side of the ship. I want it to be this side, but... It just doesn't look right like that because now the moon's over there. So, God damn it, so solar positioning. Could you no, done no, this no, right? No, no, no. Go back. Go back. I want to go back a little bit. No, I'm going it. home. No, yes. No, I just the, the view. I'm going home. Leave me alone. Okay. So, what's my periapsis? Is going to be sixty-nine thousand. Okay. Home. So, not quite. God. Oh, you're at sixty-nine already. Yeah. That's going to arrow break me. Like, fine. <laughs> no, you, you'll arrow break, but it'll be a tiny bit. Yeah, but I can retrograde it. Like really. Sixty. Well, the ammo is, uh, I think, sixty-eight five. So actually, yeah, but you're if not I re hit. Oh no! But if I retrograde <laughs> burn on the approach, I will. Oh yeah. I'll be fine. I'll just come straight in. It's a free return. We'll be great. If you It'll don't be do fine. a loop, you're gonna be. Ha you're gonna have so much horizontal velocity. I know it's gonna be great, isn't it? That's your <laughs> preference. Yeah, I'll slow down. Fine, I'll circularize. God. I would I would I wouldn't circularize. I would just take a loop after arrow breaking. Uh 
Where's my periapsis? 88. Could you there just we go. Program? 19. Yeah, I know. I intended to. I was raising my periapsis so I could circle it. I could basically get about 100 uh, kilometer orbit. So that way I could actually come in and not. Oh, you're yeah. going to do a regular circular. Yeah, I am. Oh, I thought you were going to arrow break. No. You can drag your app down for free by just catching okay. the atmosphere. There's a lot of traffic of in my atmosphere right now I need to consider, so. Yeah. You made a mess. Look what you've done. It's not a mess. I've got two it satellites maneuvering, which means I need to consider where they're positioning when I transition their pathways. Hitting stuff in space tends to suck. I wonder how hard that would be in real life with all the space junk and satellites and stuff. Everywhere. It's actually That's pretty hard. hard. Yeah, it's actually pretty hard. Okay, so let's bring this bitch to go down. out of your way to hit something. Boy, there we no. go. It's funny how fast it goes from big to small, but then slows down here. <laughs> oh, God damn it, Lisa. Wow. Wow, okay, this that was is rude. feeding her content. Now. I know oh, I am. I told you it's the smut hour brought to you by Lisa. <laughs> you I haven't it. said a damn thing in like Liar. at least two minutes. Oh, yeah, oh look, look at my speed. It's not as high as you'd think it is, actually. Well, that's 500 meters per second that it's you don't have to deal with while plummeting towards the ground. I know, I mean, this is, this is fine. I mean, I can come back at that speed, it's no problem whatsoever. I'm sure you can come back at that speed. Oh, God damn it, Lisa. God. What? I'm agreeing. I need an adult You're going to go to the app and then put your PE somewhere. Yes, I'm, I'm going to make it. Wow. <laughs> where, are you your, where are you putting your PE? <laughs> where are you placing oh. your PE, wise? <laughs> well, as long as your PE doesn't end up in a hole in the ground. Wow. Oh, no. <laughs> You're not helping me. I need to get my thumbnail first. Leave me alone. I gotta get a thumbnail for my video, okay? God. <laughs> Which means I need to flip this around so it's the right way around because I'm being problematic. Leave me alone. That's not the only thing that's been problematic with this. Oh one. my god. Yeah, no, Your face is problematic. Camera, you would know. I know. Oof. For comedic effect, you should leave the solar panels deployed so they rip off. <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do, do that. Oh <laughs> well, no, I'm not taking it with me. Yeah, just do it. Extra show. Okay, so we're actually slowing down in our orbit right now. So I will wait till I get to the app, then I'll drop the periapsis. So we'll just go zip to zip 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 zip. There goes the fuel barge. So I could actually refuel there and actually try and propulsively land this. Would that be hilarious? Do it. No, it's too long already. We're good. we're coming home, okay? <laughs> Where? I don't care. So you're that ditching that cool. rocket? Nobody you're just going to go down pod? Yeah, well, that's the whole design of it. We're going Apollo style. This whole oh. fucker can go Which home. Apollo? You need to be specific. Eleven. <laughs> okay. The good one. Two ones in there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm burning now. Shush. Why did I agree Enough to talk about Apollo One. There we go. You know what's gonna be uh, funny? What? You're actually. Yeah, you're gonna arrow break. You're gonna I come know. out of that. Gotcha. Okay, so we're coming back to 100 now, so I'm just going to zoom, 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 zoom. There's the space center. We're, we're definitely not going to hit that. That's unfortunately not going to happen. Because uh, the Kerbin space center is there. Forward. We're probably going to come in a lot faster sooner, so I'm going to retrograde burn here and just bring it down faster. Because I'm feeling like I'm in a hurry. So, Plus, they're serving, uh, what do you call it, fish and chips for dinner at the Kerbal Space Center cafeteria, so... The... Uh, yeah, that's right. I had a brain moment. Leave me alone. We should come down about here, I think, in the yeah, ocean yeah. nearby. That's water. I know. Water's fine. Water's good. It's okay. I was oh, intending to do water. Oh, I might as well use it. It's not doing anything else. Okay, so you've been great. Now you can GTFO. So we're going to point... No, retrograde. Please retrograde. Please a cigarette. So you've been fantastic. Now you can go away. Bye. I think it's going to nail you. No, it's not. It's going to be just <laughs> fine. It's going to be just fine, okay? I have done this maneuver multiple times in before the crash. Quick save. <laughs> yeah, she does it all the time. Uh... What, it's nailed by space junk? We should be fine. So it's going away from me. I, what? 
nailed by space junk. You're assholes. When you listen to this shit back over, you're gonna just fucking die. Probably. The only Where thing I have, to be fair, by you? to be fair, the only that problem is if you're talking about orbital mechanics and space flight techniques, it could sound incredibly sexual. It's not, I promise. The problem is it's nerd speak, which just sounds dirty when there's literally no intention. Okay, we're coming back through 20,000, and we're above water now. The space center's somewhere behind our dark asses over there. It's just pitch black, I can't see a thing. So we're coming down in speed. We're still prograde, so let's arm those shoots to deploy. What did I set them for? Oh yeah, they're fine. Um, we should be under the silk <laughs> in a moment. What's I hope. What's the height on those parachutes? Uh, thousand. I will raise that. Okay. What does that mean? Is that the right? Is that the right thing to shift those up? Yeah. Does that that's mean it will deploy sooner? Better. Yeah. Okay, we we'll do that. Warp. I'd rather float down than freak it. Well, I'm gonna hopefully the watch the deploy. There we go. The there we go. We have parachutes. We're okay. We have parachutes. You can GTFO. I want to float. Once it slows down, they'll fall off, I'm sure. So 6,000. Down we go. Full deployment. There goes the heat shield away from us. Now the craft is much lighter. So the craft is under silk. And we are on our way down to the, the oceans of Kerbin. With our three intrepid explorers. Who actually made it to the moon. Landed and returned not just in a single rocket but we separated off apollo style with a lander went down didn't damage the spaceship but we ran out of batteries because it's my fault because i'm an idiot everything was fine and we made it back into orbit we circularized we rendezvoused with the lander granted that was backwards to how apollo did it because in apollo the actual lander went to the did it i don't even actually know did apollo's lander go to the command module or did the actual command module go to lander it's a good question i don't know that if you know that please answer in the comments because that's something i need to go look up after this so i'll probably know before you do but i just want to feel smarter so i'm going to try and find out god damn it we're going so slowly come on we're in four times time acceleration and we're still going down this freaking slow this is why i didn't open them this soon wise oh my god i'm going to cut one of these so we can go down faster go. Just, no just let them both go it'll be fine N no yeah. that's okay. <laughs> well i could bail out with parachutes I mean, it'd work. Exactly. It would be more epic. You know what's going to be even more epic? Hi. Living dangerously. I think, I think it was the lunar module. I think it was the lunar module. No, we're, we're living dangerously. See? I think the lunar module came after yeah. that command module. I want to know what happens if uh, Valentina rides this thing down. Show it. I fucking fall do off it. my hits, but... It's gonna be fine. Hilarious. It's gonna be fucking fine. No, I can't Smish speed flash. warp. I can't speed warp, so I'll get closer and I'll do it, okay? Because it's gonna take forever to float down Splish like this. Splash, motherfucker. They're halfway there. More than halfway there. I know, but it's taking forever because I'm going down. I should have just the heat shield. I'm living on a prayer. I will have Valentina on the ladder on the way out, okay? We'll do this. We'll do this for science. What happens if you land with a Kerbal on the ladder? Quick save. I'm, just I'm going to before we do it. I'm not a moron, I don't think. Much. No, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I'm going to. When we get to about five, uh, 100 feet, I'll do it. 100 meters. Don't save. We're going to ghost ride the whip with a spaceship. How's that? Listen. Okay. We're going to ghost ride a spaceship. Haven't it's I fine. told you about the time I had to do that to live? You ghost ride a spaceship. No, my friend almost ran me over. Oh, oh God. The ghost rider whip. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, that is a story I want to hear more about after. She we wasn't good at driving. No, I can I can imagine. Uh, come on, my God, this is taking forever. Just a couple more seconds. But we made it though. We we actually successfully made it back from space, and we we landed on another another planetary body. We took back off again. We came home. It's been successful. I'm calling this a win, okay? Yeah, we did it. We touched another body and now we're coming home. <laughs> oh, that sounds like no. the average night out at a club. Oh, no. Okay, so we're 100 meters. I'm going to quick save. What about to crash? I'm not about to crash. I, I'm just going to say that's like. Screw it. You know. We're ghost riding the whip down, okay? Valentina's going to ghost ride the whip. 
all the way I back. Ho I here. hope that uh, there's a yeah. ship ready to pick them up. Boing. Here we go. Yeah, she's fine. She's fine. She rode that pool all the way down. <laughs> oh, no. Valentina is fine, okay? And we're going to recover Ooh, the vessel now. with the ship and the helicopters and the whole NASA experience. And we will be back to the Kerbal Space Center, having been to and from the moon successfully finally i did it i'm not a moron i can do the space thing properly yes i use mac jeb shush leave me alone space is hard either way thank you thing. everybody <laughs> wow <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching guys <sighs> Wow. Oh, and on that oh, no. Lisa shaped note, uh, I, I will I resign leave this. again. <laughs> I'm joining you. Screw this. We're out of here. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> I'm leaving that laughter in at the end. <laughs>